So I say, welcome to this video lesson on Fabulae Faculae, and we are looking at the story of Perseus in section 8, The Rescue. At Perseus ubi haec vidit, but Perseus, when he saw these things, gladium sum eduxit, drew out his sword, et posquam talaria induit, and after he put on the sandals, the flying sandals, in aera sublatus est, he was lifted up into the air. Now, sublatus is from, um, well, tolo, tolore, and then it goes sustuli for the third part, and sublatus for the fourth. It's to lift or raise. So here, perfect passive, was lifted up in aera, into the air. Tum de super, then from up above, in monstrum impetum subito fecit, he made an attack, fecit impetum, on the monster in monstrum, subito, suddenly. Et gladio suo, and with his sword, colomeus grauiter ulnerawit. He wounded ulnerawit, its neck, colomeus, gravely, grauiter. Monstrum ubi sensit vulnus, the monster, when it sensed the wound, fremitum horribilim edidit, uh, produced or gave out, edidit, a horrible roar. Et sine mora, and without delay, totum corpus in aqua mersit, he submerged his whole body, mersit totum corpus, into the water. Perseus dum circum litus volat. Perseus, while he is flying, uh, let's say was flying around the shore. And do note, volat is actually present tense, but I say was flying because the main verb of this sentence, expectabat, is past tense. When that happens, when you have a past tense main verb and then a dum clause with a present, it indicates that that was happening um, you know, during that that same at, time there. So while he was flying around the shore, he was waiting on expectabat reditumeus, its return, meaning the return of the monster to see if it would come back up. Mare altem interea. Meanwhile, interea. However. Um, the sea, mare, undique sanguine inficitur, is dyed or is colored inficitur all around, undique, on every side, everywhere, sanguine, with blood. All right, so the monster's blood, it was a terrible, terrible wound, and it just fills up all the sea around, so it's not coming up. Post breve tempus, after a short time, Belua rusus capet sustulit. The beast, the um, creature, Belua, there are a lot of words for beasts and creatures in Latin, um, again lifted up its head. Now, sustulit there is from that same verb as sublatus up above, um, so it's tolo, tolere, Sustuli soblatus, and again it means to lift or raise up. Okay, so it looked like maybe it was dead because there's blood everywhere, but hey, the thing's back again, back from the dead. After a short time, the beast lifted up its head again, rusus. Mox tamen, soon nevertheless, a perseo ictu graviore vulnerata est. It was wounded, vulnerata est, by Perseus, a Perseo, with a graver, or we could say with a more serious strike, with a more serious hit, ictu graviore. So graviore, um, agreeing with ictu, both in the ablative, and do note graviore is, of course, comparative, thus graver. Tum iterum, then again, 
Say in Undas Mersit, it submerged itself into the waves, or under the waves, we might say in English. Neque postea, we saw est, nor afterwards was it seen. Or we could say, nor was it seen after that. Okay, so Catus, the sea monster, is gone, and he has saved Andromeda.